Okay, I'm back with another idea here. So this is changing a Y sensor into a water sensor. So what I did was uh, these compressed sponges. Um, you can get them in like a 12 pack on Amazon. I'll, if my wife got these from Trader Joe's, but um, I'll put a link in the description. But they come like this and I just measured it out and cut it to about that length and you get three of them out of one sponge. So all you do is you take the magnet and I like to put the magnet in uh, this way so that it slides in easier. Like that and then you just kind of hold it up. Stick the sponge in on top of that. Bring the magnet back down and then place the sensor and you place the sensor um, kind of rounded side in uh, so that the magnetic read switch is a little bit further away from it. And you can see I have the sensor on my phone in the background. Now what happens is when this sponge gets wet and then it gets wet quick it expands quite a lot and it will push up and close the contact and I just got the notification and you can see that the sensor closed. So if I let it back down, it will open up. Now, one of the catches to this is that uh, the sponge, obviously once it's wet, it's kind of done. So, um, but but if you, you know, prevent your house from getting flooded or water damage, then it's probably worth the like, I don't know, 50 cents that it costs. Um, <clears throat> I am experimenting with trying to recompress it right now with one of these that's that's wet in a vise or, or a, um, a clamp. So I'll uh, let everyone know how that turns out. But I'm gonna go ahead and test it here. I've got a Duplo full of water in my son's and, and I'll just kind of spill that right here and we'll see what happens. There we go. We got the notification and it is close. So it, obviously the message that you get in the notification is not ideal. Um, and I named this one proto water. Um, but yeah, it just see that it, it expands a ton. Um, in fact, I had to modify this a few times because it kept tipping it over, but I think I've got it right. It stays there. It doesn't, doesn't cause the sensor to fall over and get wet. So this will never get damaged. Um, and so uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys think and also if anybody's interested in uh, me setting up an Etsy shop for this idea as well and uh, Yeah, hope you guys enjoy decided to show a second test um, after watching the video and seeing I kind of like poured the water onto the sponge which some of you might say oh well, It's probably not gonna get water poured on it'll probably have to come from underneath and I just want to show so there's just the water left over from from that and so I'll just go ahead and set this in there and we'll see how quickly that, that happens. So I reset it obviously and just set it into the water and there we go. So it does, um, especially since it's cut and, and what I would recommend is just kind of bend the sponge a little bit so that it um, goes over the feet. Here I'll show real quick. Um, so I'll take this back out and you can see I have these I have these little feet right here uh, that keep it from this the sponge pushing uh, the sensor and tipping it over so it pushes against these feet and that way it makes sure it, it pushes the magnet up and not the whole mechanism um, so but one of the problems with that is that it does hold the sponge about two millimeters off of the the surface but if you just kind of bend the sponge in a way where it either either you could bend it in the middle so the middle is sticking to the floor um, or the edges so the edges kind of stick over and will contact the water first. And then, I mean, once any water touches it, it just blows up so quick. So I, I don't think that that will be an issue. Anyways, um, yep, that's all.